Got a bit tired there. You can use windows now? That's very interesting. We don't really have anything going on in the blacksmiths there, do we? Really, we should tell the blacksmith to go and just make a bunch of stuff. Hello, blacksmith. Could you please make a bunch of stuff? Um, what I should really do is that. There we go. 23 gold ingots. Absolutely. Go nuts. 76 silver. Absolutely. Go nuts. There's a lot of going nuts that is happening right now. Also, I would very much like to have a little bit of farm land to make some trees with... And that is not the farming tool. <laughs> this is the farming tool. And this will just be for some oak trees. And we will also not have one for silkweed. Because I don't think we'll need one. Because we have a bunch of stuff right here. But you know what? I should really harvest. And this is all food, I believe. Now, of course, we have a farmer. Um, is it a trapper that can be turned into a cook? Where am I going? You should really just look on here. So if we change job roles. Okay. Alright, the mason needs to be turned into a potter. Well, it's the other way around on the other class, I imagine. So a farmer can be turned into a cook. We still need to get ourselves an engineer. Which is going to be interesting. We could get ourselves an apprentice blacksmith so that we can get ourselves... An engineer instead. And also, if we're actually going to look with our eyes. Yes, the shepherd. So the trapper can become the shepherd. Hmm. How do I feel about that? Well, we've got plots of land right here that we can use. As a area to farm animals. An area for farm animals. We could farm animals there as well, I suppose. You have a different hat. Why do you have a different hat? Alright, it's because of your woman, I suppose. It's a very lovely hat. I didn't realise they had a different one. What about your ones? You've got UFOs. But slightly misplaced UFOs. A little bit more of a cap on the front. We have good reason, because of course we do not wish to have the sun in our faces. Praise the sun. Bunch of zombies right there, just chilling out. Any enemies just, you know, wanting to start a fight in the neighborhood? That's not something I really wish to go into. I think it's the second time I've referenced this. I, I don't know how I'm feeling about myself right now. Right, let's continue. Getting the doorways done is something that we will do later on. I tell, tell you what, getting the walkway done will also be a good idea. We'll get the base walkway done. And we'll also need to get a wall design sorted out, which should be fairly easy. But I want to work around these corners. So, yeah, let's go to our building tool. Which is somewhere in the known universe. <laughs> Here we are, we found it. Good job, everyone. We've done it. So we will go all the way over here. The dark center, nougat center, there we are, delicious, and then these walkways can be covered by the dark a bit to make it look a little cool, only a little cool, we don't want it to be overly cool, because otherwise the coolness will be overwritten, uh, the doorway's coolness will be overwritten, and that's not something we wish to see, someone's going to come up to this doorway, which I might add has been pristinely created, with the finest craftsmanship in the land. And they're going to look at the floor and think, Oh, that's a nice pattern, and then walk off. And the carpenter's going to cry. And I do not wish to see our carpenter cry, okay? I might add, the people in these rooms, mm, mwah, absolutely fantastic. They are living luxury. But yeah, <laughs> that sounded a bit strange. It's because it was supposed to. Right, more signs. I do like these signs. I don't know what they're meant to indicate. For me, I'm just thinking it's some sort of bed rest. Like, well, some sort of head rest. They lock it and then they could just sort of put a pillow up and maybe they're reading a book or something like that. I like the idea of using that and my RP purpose for why this thing is hovering above one's head. Or it could have the name of the person that owns. Oh, 
make me five iron pikes and I'll be back in two iron mail. What? No. No, you make me sick, you little bastard. Did I turn this crop over here in the farm plot into tree farm? I did. Okay, good. Just double checking, because at the moment, we have no trees in sight. None whatsoever. I can't see any trees. I can't remember these trees. I can remember those ones, because they got the conga line going on. Jemaya is disgusting. Bleh. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what that noise was, but I made it. We could probably get this built. If you could just start building, that would be wheat grand. I don't know why they're in particular sections like this. I can't ever remember this being the case. But, they are... Sorry, I had a very long yawn there. It, it was going on for much longer than anticipated. So what else do we wish to make? Well, getting our... Let's see, if we go over to the... The mason, we don't want anything. The tailor, we would probably want to get ourselves some of these rugs. At the moment, though, we have to make some more of these. So we can make ten. So let's do that. Let's make ten. Can get ourselves some curtains, which would look very pretty. Oh, and of course, some fire quivers. We can get one fire quiver. So we should definitely do that. We do need some more leather, though. And we are going to make some more of these anyway. So I'm going to make myself two fire quivers. Because we should be able to make two if we get some more of that. And we'll have enough of that lying around. I don't know. At the same time, we will go up here. Just means we're going to need some more wild silkweed to get some more of this cloth stuff done. We can do that by, of course, just adding a farm plot. That's not a farm plot. I've done that again. That's the second time. And that could just be for silkweed. They should be able to get that done. Oh, look. The, the melons. Mm. We've literally made baskets just to fit that one melon inside. It's ready for eating, though. We're already planting some more melons. It's more efficient as well. They just, even though there's less space, they just don't have to move around as much. I say even though there's less space. Even though there is, like, well, double the amount of land that they would otherwise cultivate. Oh, they, they, they would otherwise leave empty. They still seem to get it done very quickly. Yeah, anyway. Whatever I said there, just cut it out of existence. It didn't happen. How are we doing the flooring? It's it's doing. It's absolutely doing, which is good to see. I'm, I'm glad that it's doing. So it, let's get these doorways done. Oh, just get out of here, Mickey Mouse. I'm sick of dealing with your crap. There's an orc. There's a bunch of them, and they are very unhappy. Okay, well, you know what? I don't care. Because we have ourselves a ragtag bunch of professional killers right here. And we're going to show them... How to do their job. Yeah. <laughs> let's get both of them over here. And let's get the archers further back. Alright, now what we can do is just get everyone to focus on one person. Of course, it's not going to be ideal in this particular instance. Because now they're just sort of running away. But you know what? We can kill one. We can get some of these footmen to... Beat up some of these clerics that they have. Easy peasy, really. The archers are focusing down some of their footmen. We're getting there, don't you worry. <laughs> Level 5 knights, fantastic. Now we're fighting in their turf. I don't know why, even though it's actually our turf. I mean, they can think it's theirs all they want. It's not going to happen. Our cleric's having a little bit of trouble there, but it seems like we're okay. Because right now our knights are taunting the hell out of them, getting all that aggro. And look, there's just some motion going on right here. Look at the strategy going on. Completely overwhelmed by knights. I'd be terrified if I was that orc right now. And of course, should be dead now. Because, you know, in this situation, I'm the orc, supposedly. Supposedly, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, daily update. 
Food's still not going amazingly well. We should definitely get ourselves... Can I get out of the screen? Thanks, game. We should probably get ourselves another field worth of crop. Let's see. Um, from here. Let's get a carrot field. It goes across by five. I believe. And then we go by another five, and we'll make the... I mean, we'll just make more carrots. It's pretty bland on its own. I don't know. It seems like something quick. Do I want something quick, though? I don't know if it's a case of... Is it six? Is it one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, it is five. I really don't know if having a lot of bland food is better than having a small amount of very, very tasty food. Is it the, is it the case of a higher variety adds more to your edibles? Or is it just the case of you have 1,791 edibles? The gold value of all the food in the town's inventory. Oh, right. Okay. So I'm imagining certain foods are worth more than others. So we need to wait until there is a trader so that they can pretty much tell us. Lord Gingerberry, welcome. Okay, here we go. Let's pause the game. Can we sell you food? We can, right. So, berries are two gold. Corn, eight gold. Only five gold for watermelon and pumpkins. Very interesting. And then, of course, we have all these other kind of foods which are actually really good and we might want to get a few of them and then we have turnips and carrots are worth a little bit more corn is worth a lot more though why is corn so good apparently it's the way to go might change that then change them all to corn I mean, it's slower growing, but it's double its value. And I feel like we're not going to get two carrots in total growth time over one piece of corn. So it ends up just being better. Of course, we already have some corn going on. I imagine that's adding a hell of a lot to our food yield. Holy hell, it is. That's fantastic. We'll probably eat all of that before then, though. I don't know how often they do feast upon it. However, getting ourselves a cook, I think, is a very good idea so we can get some more value out of our food. Who can we make into the cook? <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. There's a cook in all of us. Well, let's see. Did anyone request to be a chef? No, 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 no. Uh, yes, we have two people right here that requested to be a chef. So when we get a new person, we will turn you into the chef. Well, we'll turn you to a farmer, and then eventually you can become a chef. This is, of course, unless someone who already requested to be a chef and I've made them into a farmer already. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. We may have a name in here that I've yet to call. Or replace. Yeah, that sounds like a... <laughs> anyway... Nope, every name in here seems to be something that we've made. All these sewers right here. Very orderly, I like that. Wait a minute. But some of these aren't spaced. Why are some of them spaced but others are not? Yes, consistency is key. Remain consistent. Oh shit. <laughs> I did not wish to highlight all of it, I don't know why it did that. Alright, what's this about? Go away, door seller! Wait, what's this? Cook sign, alright. I mean, is that, a, is that a calling? I don't know. It may well possibly be. This is really weird looking. Why are we missing some bits? Oh, is it eating time or something? Tell you what, let's do some more harvesting. Berries aren't worth much at all, of course. How's our food doing? See, we eat all of the corn. So, is there much point? Oh, you know what? It's the angle that I've done wrong here. Yeah. 
I forgot about that. There's no point. Oh, it's saving. There's no point in doing it in this direction because I'm not going to get everything out of it. What a waste of time because I have to do it this way. It's still okay. I can do that. It's just a case of I've used smaller patches of oh, smaller patches of land. Land. Duh. Need, I keep saying LAN for some reason when I want to say LAND. It's the D. It's disappearing. It's gone, everyone. The D is gone. Disappeared into the ether. I mean, it's appeared into the ether. Ha <laughs> ha. It's appeared into the ether. Into the ether. In e yeah. Anyway. Yeah, apparently D, the letter being, is something that's quite difficult to pronunciate. Without... So, yeah. Or quite difficult to leave out. And you can say that about any letter for me, though. There's too much brain power being thrown into that. Level 3 farmer right there for Erwin Rommel. Definitely not the name a farmer would have. Erwin Rommel. We will probably end up moving the berry bushes over to this side. A few pelts around here we could probably loot. Did we end up getting those fire fire bows? No, we're still making some of those. Did we end up getting the fire bows? No, we're still making some of those. Yeah. <laughs> what are those? I don't know. What are they? Perhaps some strange device from a foreign land. Or nothing at all. Looking good here, though. Still missing some parts, though. What kind of decoration can we have in here? Well, of course, we are missing these bits. Some nice little pillars. Adding detail. There we are. Fantastic. How about doorways? That would be fantastic. Yep, yeah, there we are. And we're going to have it poke out by one, because it looks quite good when it does that. Oh, can't place that there for some reason. This is quite frustrating. We will leave it for now. Daily update, yay! Welcome, newbie, to Darkstone. You have spawned in a good location. That's really weird to see. Pause the game. 443. Well, we are going to turn you into our new chef, which is going to be Yoro. Welcome. No, it's not going to be you, BK Bobby Joe. You've been the chef for like 12 billion years. <laughs> if you're still watching, though, thank you very much. <laughs> I do appreciate that. Right, let's make ourselves a farmer's hoe. We will turn you into a farmer. Hopefully. I wonder if it will tell me I can turn that person into a farmer live. It does, wow. It's live, everyone. We're watching this live. Which isn't really as big of a thing to say anymore as it used to be. Wow, there are a lot of kobolds there. Low-level kobolds. We have to remember that. They're all grunts. They've probably been there for millennia. And they don't know. Because they're not taught about that. At kobold school. Cobbled skull. Yeah, school, not skull. Cobbled skull, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be Welsh. Look, just give me a moment. I'll get there. I do not wish to have any of these things. I mean, having some lights placed around the place might look quite good. This room's probably going to be the only one that doesn't have any wall decoration, other than the disgusting doorway I have. Still love that. The hell did it take a long time to mine this out? It's what most of the series was, just mining this out. Although we didn't even get into the Dwarven Fortress until about episode 20. It took us so long to get this mined out as well. 
There was lots of mining involved. Who would have thought? <laughs> but anyway. So now we have a fifth farmer, which is fantastic to see. Hopefully our uh, food worth will go up significantly so. Because of the added corn that we have right here. It should hopefully go up significantly. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching. Oh, fuck. Invaders are approaching. Oh, shit. There's a flaw in the design. We should probably get rid of that ladder. I'm going to get rid of that ladder. Destroy. <laughs> They'll never know. Now they can come from this way. Oh, here we go. This is the dream. The dream! The dream! Okay, they didn't fully utilize the wall. A little bit annoying, but okay. We will kill them all because they are incredibly weak. And then just run after this other guy. Because why the hell not? Eventually we'll get them pegged against the wall. Right now though, we don't really do much damage. Unless we get our archers over there. Because they're pretty much the only damage dealers we have. I mean the knights are okay, but they do bugger all in comparison. And of course we can change some of them into the fire arrows now I think. Nope, not yet. Still waiting on that. There we go. It's the kind of damage I'm talking about. Anyway. Yeah, now we can do a proper outro. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe with that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter for updates on my channel and Twitch for live streams. Had a little bit of a hiccup right there. Forgot what the world was like around me. But then everything came back into existence. Hurrah! It's been a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. Look forward to seeing you all next time for some more Stonehurve. Welcome to Darkstone. Bye-bye.